A variety of natural environments are found throughout the world. The tremendous diversity of plants and animals form rich ecosystems. Humans interact with wildlife in a variety of ways as we go about our daily lives. But today, the destruction of habitats, pollution, climate change, and so on, brought about by development, are threatening the survival of wild animals and plants. Overexploitation of wildlife by humans is another threat to their survival. This has led to the enacting of regulations for conserving species threatened by overexploitation through trade. CITES was established to control their international trade, while the Act on the Conservation of Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora was laid down to control trade within Japan. Different trade regulations are laid down in each of the appendices of CITES. The regulations apply not only to live specimens, but they also apply to processed goods, leather, bones, and other parts of the body. The Act on the Conservation of Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora in principle prohibits the capture and trade of endangered species found in Japan, and also controls domestic trade of internationally endangered species, including those listed in CITES Appendix 1. Both commercial and non-commercial trading are prohibited in principle. Displaying such species in shops or advertising them for the purpose of selling them is also prohibited. Meanwhile, trade may be permitted for internationally endangered species if they are registered and certain conditions are fulfilled. Furthermore, domestic trade of ivory products through registered traders is permitted. There are severe penalties for trade in endangered plants and animals without registration or permits. Scientific research plays an important role in the conservation of species, so it may be carried out upon obtaining appropriate permits. Conserving endangered wildlife requires trade in accordance with regulations to prevent excessive capture and collection from their natural habitats. The relationship between humans and wildlife must be sustainable. This balanced and appropriate relationship with species we share the world with will ensure the passing on of all life on Earth to our future. <laughs>